Hello dear students, today we are going to solve TIFRGS Mathematics question paper from 2024. I'm going to solve each and every question in some videos, the first video of the series. Okay, let's see. Uh, the first and the foremost is a multiple choice question. So what is the number of even positive integers n such that every group of order n is an abelian? Well, uh, there are two even positive integers n such that the group of abelian, one is n equal to 2 and one is n equal to 4. What is for n equal to 2? The only group of order 2 is cyclic of order 2 which is the trivially abelian. Okay, so which is uh, commutative but at n equal to 4 there are two groups of order 4. Okay, so in this case only uh, one is a cyclic group of order 4 which is abelian and the other is the clean 4 group which is also abelian. So for any of the even positive integer n greater than 4, okay, n greater than 4, uh, there exists a non-abelian group of order n, okay, for instance for a, for a direct product of two cyclic groups, maybe, okay. Uh, of order 2. So, a non abelian whether the uh, order of the cyclic group is multiplied have a common prime factor greater than 1. So, therefore, the only two even positive integers n is there. So, here is the answer. Okay. So, this is very easily done. Let us go to question number 2 uh, here. Uh, so, here <laughs> this is a positive integer they have given. Now the thing is that in this kind of questions you need to always check out this thing. Uh, this is a polynomial, G is this minimum of AB. So what happens with M and N? So in order to solve this, this equation is related to algebraic properties of polynomials. So the set S is defined as the collection of polynomials of max degree N. Okay where n is a positive integer so each polynomial g in s the sets are a g are defined as the coefficients of g of x okay so now in this case if we proceed uh, so the value of m is this this is defined as uh, uh, the minimum uh, number of elements with the sets of a g minimum number of elements in a g okay as g varies over s so similarly capital m is the maximum number of elements in a g max number of elements in a g okay over s since the degree of the polynomial of s is n at the most so the number of coefficients here so the coefficients here uh, will be uh, m is equal to 0 the most will be 0 and corresponding to the 0 polynomial is there so the coefficients of m is n plus 1 okay so therefore option m equal to 0 and m equal to n plus 1 is correct there is p 